Let's look at this position first when RJ's opponent is starting to pass his guard. Okay, this first position we're going to look at in RJ's match is when his opponent started to pass his guard. So from here we want to talk about the frame concept and when he starts to come to the side, I'll frame with my hands here. Okay, my forearm is across his collarbone and I connect my hand, my other elbow is on the mat. So from this point I'm going to scoot my hips away from him here and bring my leg in to recover the guard. RJ's opponent breaks his guard and starts to make a guard pass. We want to look at what RJ can do with his hands in this position to prevent the guard pass. Alright, the second position we're going to look at from the same angle. When RJ's opponent got past his guard, we want RJ to block with his forearm here as he comes to the side. So I block here with my forearm. Okay, from this point I'm going to get up to my opposite elbow here. Okay, and now I'm going to put my bottom leg underneath his leg. Cover guard. I block with my forearm. I come up to my elbow here. I use my bottom leg to go inside of this leg and recover the guard. Where RJ's opponent starts to take the mount, we go back a little bit and look where RJ has his hands and how, again, he can use a frame to help prevent his opponent from taking the mount. When RJ's opponent had him in the side, we want RJ to keep his elbows in tight and his hands out wide. So when his opponent is holding him here, from this spot, if RJ puts all his weight on me, I can still recover my guard here. Okay, and if my opponent now tries to take the mount position, I can lock him in the half guard. 